Teenagers who stopped at a traffic signal saw a girl staring at them for an unbelievable reason. Sometimes, when you're driving in town and you stop at a red light, you might glance at the people in other cars. Two young guys from Texas were on their way to pick up a friend from work when they noticed a woman in a nearby car. She was attractive, and both Aaron Arias, 19, and Jamal Harris, 17, couldn't help but notice her. Little did they know, this beautiful woman was in trouble. If these two young men hadn't trusted their instincts and acted on what they saw, this story could have had a very sad ending. Now let's hear their side of the story. It's truly incredible how a single look can save someone's life. These young heroes don't wear capes, but they did save a woman's life a few years ago, and everyone was thankful that they got so involved in saving her. It's not exaggerated to say they're heroes. In an interview with the media, one of them said, we felt like we were in an action movie. Here's how it all started. Aaron and Jamal were in the car, with Aaron driving, to pick up a friend from work. When they stopped at a red light, near downtown Dallas, they noticed a beautiful girl in the back seat of the car that was next to them. Then Jamal looked a little longer and noticed a shocking detail. In an interview with NBC, Aaron said, how it all happened. We were checking out the girl in the back seat because we're like, okay, she's kind of attractive. And then the guy that was driving looked back at them. Something was a bit odd. So Jamal kept on looking. Then he sees what the woman tried to communicate. Jamal explained that the woman made eye contact with him and her face was trying to tell them something. Then he did his best to read her lips. She was actually mouthing, help me, he told his friend. But Aaron thought that Jamal was kidding around. He was like, she's mouthing help me. I was like, stop playing. When Aaron looked towards her, he realized it wasn't a game. She was really in trouble. The two called 911, and here's the entire conversation with the operator as the young men kept on following the car with the supposed victim. They had no idea how dangerous the other driver was. Aaron explained to the operator that they're witnessing someone who looks to be in trouble. Then he explains how they were checking out the girl in the back seat and how she asked them to help her. He looked to the back seat and the blonde female in the back seat was saying, help me or something, whispering it, added Aaron as he and Jamal kept following the car on Highway 175, telling the operator where they were. Then the driver realized a car was following him and tried to lose it. He was driving crazy, swerving and everything, said Aaron in the interview, adding that at one point, the driver started turning on and off his lights, so we knew that he knew he was being followed. They moved around a lot, and then sometimes they would go really, really fast to where we could barely see them, and then we'd catch up, and they would go super slow. Then Jamal explained that the police operator told them to turn on the hazard lights so that the nearest patrol car could spot them and intervene as quickly as possible. In the conversation with the 911 operator, Arias said that the driver obviously knows he's being followed, so he's either going to hurt her or try to cut his losses, or he's going to try to hurt all of us. However, they did not falter and carried on with the chase until the cops pulled the suspect out of the car. Aaron and Jamal couldn't contain their happiness when the cops pulled the driver out of the car. Then, as they chased to catch and restrain the suspect, he says, the chase was 40 miles long, but it ended with everyone being safe. The man that was caught is called Charles Atkins Lewis Jr. He was charged with aggravated kidnapping when he was arrested. The police found a knife and a handgun in the car. The young woman was struck over the head and forced to get into her car in the back seat while Atkins kept her at gunpoint. He did not know the woman before the incident, but how did it all start? Here is some information on the victim's unfortunate experience. It was 11 p.m. when the victim was leaving a young professional's networking party from downtown when a man approached her from behind and hit her three times in the head. She believed he used the handgun for that. Then he forced her into her own car and threw her cell phone out the window. In the affidavit, a police officer wrote that the woman thought Lewis was planning to rape her and possibly kill her. What did she do after she was freed that night? 
After the rescue mission, the teens were hailed as heroes. The woman got out of the car she was being held trapped in and ran to the boys to hug and thank them for saving her life. I can honestly say those were the best hugs I've ever gotten, said Aaron, happy to see she was fine. Aaron said, in an interview, that he would like to stay in contact with the woman, but would do that after the investigation and the court case ends so that he won't interfere with them. When reporters asked Aaron if they thought of themselves as heroes, he said, Well, the lady we helped says we saved her life. I suppose you could say we did, but I don't want to claim to be a hero. Then Jamal shared how they felt at that moment and what motivated them to act quickly. Jamal added, You don't need a superhero costume to be a hero. You just need to be yourself and respond when needed. Aaron mentioned that the lady they rescued was $50,000 bond. His lawyer emphasized that he is innocent until proven guilty. What did people say about Aaron and Jamal's actions? People who read about their heroic act in the news praised the young men for their quick response and for calling 911. They called them brave teenagers. They didn't ignore the situation, but acted responsibly by involving the authorities. Even if it hadn't been a kidnapping, it's better to be safe than sorry. Well done, kids. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and consider to share it with your loved ones. Also subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.